It's another Wildcat All In with Wildcat senior Zaire Porter from the Wildcat men's basketball team. Zaire, thanks for joining us. We appreciate you. We're glad to me. talk to you. It's it's uh, hard to believe, right? But your your Wildcat career after three years is coming to an end. How does that feel? Uh, you know, it's bittersweet. You know, I, I had a lot of fun moments here. You know, enjoyed my time here, but sad coming to an end. Yeah. Okay, so I gotta I gotta ask. You know, a kid from New York, the Bronx, New York. Did you ever think you'd be in Ogden, Utah, playing basketball? No. <laughs> Uh, not at all. I really never ever pictured myself going to the West Coast. I think for basketball, I always saw myself at the East Coast in yeah. college. But okay, so and, and you, before you came to Weber, you spent one year at a junior college in in Kansas. So what was that journey like uh, growing up in New York, mm -hmm. and how did you end up playing college basketball? Uh, well, that was my first time leaving uh, New York for anything other than like, you know, a vacation or anything. So going out to the country after being in the city for like 17 plus years was like a big shock. But I learned about myself in the time in the year there. Uh, I learned how to just, how to just work myself out, uh, just be more of like an individual rather than relying on my parents and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. so what was it like growing up in the Bronx? Uh, it was fun, you know? I experienced a lot of things other, other people didn't get to experience, like subways, you know, uh, just a big city energy, stuff like that. But it was actually fun, a lot of fun. Knicks fan? Uh, no. No? Sadly, uh, <laughs> I can't root for them. Okay. So you end up playing, did you, did you play, obviously, basketball most of your life growing up? Uh, yeah, for the majority of my life, yeah. Okay. I played basketball. And you obviously had a desire to play college basketball, so you go all the, all the way to Kansas. And then after that year, and COVID hit right then too, but how, what was your journey from there to, to get to Weber State? Uh, so I wasn't able to take any visits uh, after my junior college season. So basically I just had to have multiple talks with the colleges that was recruiting me and just basically like come up with my decision soon because you know, COVID was hitting. I just wanted to make sure I had a home and a place. And then, yeah, the Wildcats just made me feel at home. And that's why they brought me out here. And what did you know about Weber State? Um, I just knew that Dame came here, and that's probably the only thing I knew. I definitely didn't know it was in Utah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. It's such a, such a big change. And, and you've been here for three years now. We were just talking. You've played in over 80 games already and, and had a, a great career in three years. As you think back on that, that first year you were here, that COVID year, it was all strange. We didn't know when we are going to play or how much you are going to play. And... You know, someday you'll tell your kids about that. What will you remember about that first year? Uh, that was definitely an interesting year of basketball for me. It was probably the first time where I would go into a game week not knowing if I'm going to play a game or not, you know, or it was the first time maybe possibly this game might get canceled because of something over there, you know. So it was definitely just like a huge adjustment, but I feel like it was, it was good to learn from that. What do you love most about playing basketball? I just love that I get to show my emotion and my passion out there. You know, just release all the energy that I have during the day out there on the basketball court. That's yeah. what I love about yeah. it. What other memories do you have of, of the last three years? Are there some memorable games or things that stand out? Uh, some memorable games? Yeah, well, beat a Montana in the Big Sky Tournament last year. And that was one of the uh, major things for me because my first year here, we lost them in the tournament. So that was just like a good moment to feel that. Um, and just the teammates and the people I've met I've, since I've been here, like, just been nothing short of like great. Like I just love it here. I'm gonna be very honest. Yeah. What's it like though being away so far away from home and and missing your family and so forth? How's that been? Uh, it's been. Well, I'm getting more adjusted to being away from my family because of the year I did in junior college. So just being out. But I talk to my family like multiple times a week. You know, we're always in touch. You know, I'm always checking up on them. My little brother and my little sister. So, they probably watch the games, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. they always watch yeah. the games, call me after the games, yeah. let me know if I did good, did bad, what I could work on. Yeah. So it's just good. And, you know, one of the things that you've accomplished off the floor, which is just as important, is you graduated. Yep. Earned a college degree uh, last April in professional sales. Yep. What was that fulfillment like? That, that felt good, and I did it more so for my parents because I know what it meant to them to see their first son, you know, get their degree. And, you know, they weren't able to be there for my junior college graduation. So it was just, you know, a great moment to have my family there when I graduated from Weber State. So after Weber State here, as the season's winding down, what are your plans? Uh, you know, just see where basketball takes me, you know. I want to con continue professionally overseas somewhere or wherever basketball takes me, but I definitely don't want to stop playing. Good, good. When you're all done, someday stop playing, what do you think you'll be doing? Mm, that's a great question. <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe something into, like, a clothing line or like sneakers or stuff like that. I'm big into like maybe fashion. 
Okay. Maybe something like that, I would say. So fashion's, fashion's one of your uh, things you love to, to do, huh? Yeah. Okay, good. Let's ask a couple other questions to get to know you a little bit more. Do you have a dream vacation, a place you'd love to go? Yeah, I want to go to uh, to Bali. Okay. Yeah. What is it about there? that? It's just like a beautiful place, you know? It's just nice. It has beautiful beaches, you know, beautiful scenery. It's just a different experience mm -hmm. from being in the United States. Not as much snow, probably. Yeah, definitely <laughs> not. Like we're dealing with here. <laughs> exactly. Do you have a favorite food? Favorite food, I would say macaroni and cheese. Okay, there you go. Do you make that a lot? I don't know how to make it, but my mom helps me sometimes. You know, I call her for instructions, you know, stuff okay, like good. that. Okay, we, it's not the Knicks now, but do you have a favorite pro sports team? I don't really have a favorite pro sports team, but I would have said the Nets before everything that, you know, went down <laughs> because, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a big Kyrie fan and a KD fan, yeah. so that was great to see them playing in New York. And now? And now no it's more. just a whole different team. <laughs> How about a, a pro athlete or a favorite? Oh, yeah. Uh, one of my favorite, like, basketball players I love to watch is Paul George or Kevin Durant. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Uh, we talked about this as well, but uh, you love the beaches, right? Yeah. Be beaches guy. Um, indoors or outdoors? Indoors. Okay. I'm an indoors guy. You're an indoors kind of guy. Yeah. yeah. That sounds good. And uh, we said this too, morning person or a night owl? Definitely a night owl. <laughs> you like to stay up late? Yeah. Watch some sports? I do not what, like getting up early. <laughs> when you're not playing basketball or practicing, what do you like to do? Play video games. Okay. What's your yeah. favorite? My favorite video game is either between 2K and Call of Duty. And are you good at it? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. You, yeah. Do you play your teammates in some of those uh, games? Sometimes, you okay. know, if they come over or not. You hold but your I own. usually play with my teammates. Like, I play with KJ. Yeah. You Stuff hold like your that. own, I'm sure. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> awesome. So, here it's been fun to watch you for three years. Uh, it's hard to believe, as we said, that, the, that your career's coming to an end. But thanks for what you've done for Weber State. And thanks for spending some time. We can get to know you a little bit more. I appreciate you having us. Go Cats.